Welcome back folks, I'm Frizz, and today I'd like to take some time to talk about some new news that was announced by Paizo. They just announced a grand total of six books that are focusing on the continent of Tianja within the Lost Omen setting, and I could not be more excited for them. See, Tianja is the part of the Galarian that's generally inspired by Eastern culture. Paizo hasn't really given much information on Tianja in a very long time now, so I'm looking forward to seeing what Paizo is gonna show to us now that they've given the continent another look. To be entirely honest with you, one of the big reasons I'm so excited is because Paizo set the bar really high with the Mwangi Expanse book. Like, focusing on parts of Galarian that are not really inspired or conform to Western fantasy is something that they have shown that they can do a good job with, and I'm looking forward to Tianja getting that treatment. The information that Paizo has released about Tianja before now, it wasn't like objectively bad, but it was definitely written from the perspective of a bunch of white dudes who wanted to make a setting for oriental campaigns, not like an actual continent full of diverse and fleshed out cultures. So yeah, I'm excited to see Paizo take another swing at it. Also, while a lot of the content in these books is going to be specific to the setting of Galarian, people who plan their own settings should still be excited. You can use whatever you want from these books in your own stories, whether that be mechanics or an inspiration for how to make a more living and breathing world that is actually inspired by real world cultures, instead of, you know, just making a combination of historical Japan and China and calling it a day. But regarding the books themselves, we don't exactly know what's going to be in there. The bulk of the mechanical content is probably going to be found in the world guide or the character guide, but we don't know exactly what is going to be in there. The world guide is going to have a lot of lore, obviously, and so will the character guide, but one of the more exciting things that we do know is going to be in there is that there are going to be a total of six new ancestries, though we only know what three of them are right now. Two of them are going to be converted over from Pathfinder 1st Edition, those being the Samsarans and the Weiangs. I'm probably mispronouncing Weiangs, I'm very sorry about that. For those who don't know, Samsarans are people who are forever reincarnated over and over again with hazy memories of their past lives, while Weiangs are tied to shadows and occult magic and are just overall very cool. To me, the most exciting ancestry that has been announced is absolutely the Tanuki. Tanuki are natural shapeshifters like Kitsune, but they can turn into a wide variety of different forms to cause chaos. I'm looking forward to seeing how Paizo implements them into Tui since there are tons and tons of different ways that they could represent them. Like they mentioned in the blog post, being able to turn into a teapot or a priest depending on the situation to try and get different outcomes, which is really cool. I'm just interested to know whether or not there's going to be a feat for scamming people over with incredibly predatory house loans. Alright, so from here on we are getting more into speculation territory, but I mean, it's, it's my channel. Uh, some people have speculated that Kappas are going to be one of the ancestries that wasn't listed, or that we it's not confirmed, but people are expecting that it is going to be in the book. Because there's a Kappa front and center on the cover of the character guide. This theory absolutely has some weight, considering that the Lost Omens Ancestry Guide cover had a lot of the ancestries that were in the book on the cover, but I can't speculate what a Kappa ancestry would actually mean. I just don't know enough about Kappas, but I would love to learn about Kappas in the future. We've heard about some new like skill feats, maybe a new Magus hybrid study, but I would love to see more mechanics for other classes. I I've said this before that I think that the best thing for Pathfinder 2E would just be a book full of new feats and class archetypes and all that for existing classes, even if it's never going to happen. So I would love to see Paizo explore alterations to existing classes to better represent other cultures. Like, after all, not every culture has the same kind of archetypal characters or stereotypes that kind of led to the development of Pathfinder 2E classes. Class archetypes overall are really, really cool, but there aren't many of them right now in the game, so I think that this is a great chance to explore that more thoroughly and also represent other cultures. 
Now, one last thing that I would like to get out of the way is that there isn't going to be a samurai or a ninja class, no matter how hard you ask. Although, most likely, there is going to be archetypes for those types of characters. Paizo is just not going to release a full class in a Lost Omens book, but I really do trust that Paizo will be able to fulfill those character concepts with archetypes, like how the Cavalier archetype pretty faithfully brings over the Cavalier from Pathfinder 1st Edition. I'm expecting them to rename them so they're not Ninja and Samurai because that pretty obviously ties them to a single real-life culture, but I'm still expecting them to be in the book and be excellent. So yeah, you could say that I'm a little bit excited for these books. I didn't even get to talk about the Season of Ghosts AP that was announced, which is also sure to have at least a single archetype in it, maybe multiple. APs normally have at least one or two. Basically, I'm just really looking forward to the new Tian Jia books that Paizo is going to be putting out, and I hope that now you're excited too. Thanks for watching. Tian Jia is a really fascinating place in Galarian, and I'm looking forward to seeing what Paizo can give us about Tian Jia. I'm obviously not expecting it to be on the same level of detail as the Moangi Expanse book, since Tian Jia dwarfs the Moangi Expanse in size, and you just can't go into that amount of detail on a continent that is dramatically larger than Africa. But I'm still expecting a lot of good things. So what are you excited for the most, and what is your biggest wish to see come from either the World Guide or the Character Guide? Let me know in a comment down below, and subscribe or something while you're down there. And regardless, until I see you next. Live a wonderful life.